you doing, LT? Good morning, young. How you doing? Doing good, sir. Good, good, good. Did you grab that seatbelt? Yeah. Put that on. Thanks for getting me. Looks like it might try to rain a little it bit. It does. It does. Now I see uh, you've brought some uh, hay with you here. Yep, Was there I something you were doing before this? Yeah, you know them pesky horses and cows. Have just had to go wrangle one up real quick and uh, return it to its owner. Now that's ag actually part of what you do here, right, with the Ag Patrol? That is just one of the many things that we do in the Ag Unit. Excellent, excellent. So why don't, why don't you tell us what your function is and what your job is, your job description? Uh, well, we're, our primary responsibility is we're support for Road Patrol. We're there to help them as best we can. Areas that they cannot get, um, we'll, we'll be able to access easily. Um, with our uh, oversized vehicles, our trucks, and uh, other equipment. Okay, so uh, so why don't you tell me about some of that equipment that you guys have? Well, we have uh, several items. All all of the ag unit members are issued a ATV, uh, four wheeler. Um, they're four wheel drive. They're small. They're compact. They're used to getting tight spots um, with uh, difficult or rough terrain. Uh, we also uh, have a swamp buggy, um, and it's used to access swamp, marsh, cypress, wherever pretty much the four-wheeler is just too small or it's too much water. And also we got um, an airboat, which is, those are those are the best. Right. Now the airboat, now what do, what do we use that for? What's, explain what that will be used for. An airboat is one of those tools that we don't use that often, but when we need it, it's the only thing that will get the job done. Now, we've known each other for a long time. Yes, sir. Uh, when I was in patrol in Mockley, you were just a young grade school kid yes sir and uh with your dad being in law enforcement tell me why you wanted to get is, is that one of the reasons why um that was one of the major reasons but i i just had a major respect for law enforcement i and every aspect of it i loved it i grew up and that's the only thing i've ever wanted to do was be in law enforcement so as soon as i was able to i actually signed up got hired on as a corrections officer and just worked my way up and now i'm here now you did work in road patrol for for a little bit Yes, sir. Uh, and so obviously the, your passion is for the Ag Patrol. Why is that? What, what what makes you want to do that? I think a lot of it has to do with uh, my background. Um, I love the outdoors. Being in the woods has been my most uh, enjoyable time. Uh, hunting, fishing, I mean, it's just, it's one of the best. So so while you're patrolling, you know, you have, you have a love for hunting and fishing. Part of getting the Ag Patrol is maybe trying to protect some of our resources and things like yes, that. Yes, absolutely. That's that's just one of the things we also Very do. Very good. I mean. Now, I'm sure you've been in Ag Patrol and you're dealing with uh, you know animals in general. Uh, what was some what was like the strangest call you ever went to? Uh, there's been a lot, but I, I, one that sticks out is I was a backup officer and one of the other Ag Unit members. Um, the call came out. It came out as a kangaroo. Okay. In Golden Gate, okay. in States, right? In Naples, right? I'm, I'm tracking with you. So, of course, I'm like, I got to go to this. So, responded and met with the officer, and sure enough, right there in the front yard, eating grass, was a a small baby kangaroo, which ended up being a wallaby, which is the same same as a kangaroo. Okay. And I mean, they're pretty dangerous. If they get close, they can kick and they hurt. So. But it was interesting. It was one of those things I'll never forget. Now, uh, as far as um, the area that you cover, you pretty much cover the whole county, right? Yes, sir. All okay. of Clary County. Okay. Give me an interesting story or uh, something the community might not be aware of, of actually what you do. I'm actually glad you, uh, you're you asking, LT, because just uh, wasn't too long ago, me and my uh, partner, Cor Corporal Hazel, actually, we responded out to... Uh, an area in Immokalee and it was a search it was a rescue for a actual it was a, a scientist biologist that was doing some research and he actually had a heart issue and he got stuck out in the middle of a swamp and the only way to get into him was on foot ultimately Miami Dade actually sent their helicopter over and had to do an air airlift rescue wow it was it was actually really now, really? you, do you interact with a lot of the farms and farmers and things like that? Yes, absolutely. Yes, sir. I'm what does that up, entail? Well, growing up in Immokalee, I actually, I know quite a bit of people in Immokalee that farm or have farm. And just being able to go out there and actually help them and they see my presence out there, it's just reassuring to them and actually makes me feel good because I know that they know I care and I'm out there to help them. Well, Jared, we're getting we're almost getting ready to drop you off here. I. Uh, Thanks for sharing everything with no, me. No, thank you, LT. And, I appreciate uh, it. When you get out there today, be safe and, 
you know, if you need another ride, let me know. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. All right, Elton. Be safe. See you, youngin. Yes, sir. <laughs>